so we're going to set up TDAR on Windows. We're just going to come up here. Type in TDAR. Go to the website. If you scroll down, you'll see a Windows icon. Click on the Windows icon. Click on this first link for Windows. And it'll download the file. I've already unzipped the file. So we're going to close that out, close that out, minimize this. I've got it here on my desktop. You're also going to want to create these three folders. Only You only got to do the output folder. We'll get to that in a second. But you definitely need to create the library and the cache folder. We're going to open this up. We're going to run the TDAR updater. And just open that and let it run. Okay, once that's finished, you'll have all of this in this folder. You're going to want to go to Node and start that up. All right, now go back. After you've clicked on that, go to Server. And cl click on TDAR Server. And that'll open it up in your browser. You get this change log showing all the updates and everything. Close that out. Now, first thing we're going to do is come to libraries. And we're going to create a library. We're just going to name Mars TDAR library. Right, we're just going to name it that. Now we're going to come down here. Right here, we need a file path for our library. Go here. We're going to copy that path and close that out. We're going to paste that right there. And now we're going to come over here to transcode cache. And we're going to get this file path. Copy that. Paste that here. Now, by default, TDAR will convert the file, delete the original, and replace it with the converted file on it without doing anything. That's what default does. But we are going to have it output the file into a folder. So we're going to put that so that it keeps the original and we keep the converted file. If you don't want to do this, then just skip this part and it will convert it and delete the original. Get that right there. Now we're going to come over here to transcode options. We're going to leave it like this. And what this is going to do is use our CPU, our processor. We're just going to use it to convert the files. Um, if you want to use your GPU, your graphics card to do that, what you're going to do is click on this and disable the disable CPU, click on the GPU, and enable it. Okay? That's how you're going to do that if you want to run it off of your GPU. We're going to run off the CPU because all of the forums and on Reddit says that if you run it on CPU, you're going to get a lower file size and better quality if you run it with the CPU. So that's what we're going to do. In fact, we're going to also enable 10 bit in this. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to TR. We're going to click on, it'll have a random name. It, it, this is your node. This is Your node is just the computer that you're running it on. The, um, and it gives it a random weird name every time. So we're going to go to options and scroll down. If you want to use the GPU to do the task, like I said, make sure you select this. And that, because if you don't, only your CPU is going to do the work. 
If you're going to use your graphics card to do your transcodes, make sure you come in and select this right here. But we're not. We're using our CPU. Okay. You also want to come down here to auto accept successful transcodes. Put a tick in that. If you're using your graphics card, you're going to come over here and you're going to select two or three for the number here of how many it's going to, how many files it's going to process at the same time. You want to do at least two or so here and at least one for doing the health checks. Um, we're doing CPU. I'm only going to do one for the transcode and one for the health check for there. Okay? So we've got this set up. Now if we come over here to library, what we're going to do is minimize this and we're going to take this file here and we're going to put this into our PDAR library. And we're going to go back into PDAR we're going to go to options and we're going to hit scan fresh. Now we can come back over here to TDAR tab. Click on our node. And you can see that it's picked it up. It's processing, scanning it. We're on step three, which is our transcoding. And this is our ETA, our time on how long it's going to take for it to do the transcode. Like I said, see, doing it with the CPU takes a lot longer, but you get a smaller file size. All right. That's it. It's as simple as that. When it's done, we'll have a smaller file, and it will save some space. And that's how you set it up. If you're doing this with a graphics card, this is going to run a lot faster, but your file size may be a little bit bigger and the quality might not be as good. CPU, you get smaller file size and better quality. Alright, thanks for watching. I hope that helps. See you next time.